Hello folks, my name is Arun. Welcome to Car Dekho. Now, India's first indigenously developed SUV has come a long way since it first broke cover in 1998. Naturally, the car that you see next to me here has a lot of legacy to live up to. The Safari Storm as we know it now received new interiors and some more power under the hood earlier this year. However, Tata think that's not enough. They've gone ahead and launched this. It's called the Varikov 400 and it's available only in the VX trim. It packs even more punch under the hood. How's it to drive? Well, let's find out. Other than the Varikov 400 badging on the fenders, the SUV remains virtually unchanged compared to the updated Safari Storm. The monstrous proportions give the Safari unmatched street presence. The little add-ons that you see here, like the bug deflector, the daytime running lamps and the hood scoop are all accessories that can be fit at the dealer level. There's a similar story on the inside. The interiors are identical to the standard Safari Storm. You get the same integrated music system and the bolt-like steering wheel. It is just as spacious too, which means you get the towering front seats, the lounge-like rear bench and the jump seats in the boot. The 2.2-litre Daikor motor now produces 155 PS of power and a whopping 400 Nm of torque. What is also new is this 6-speed gearbox. The ride and handling remains identical to the standard Safari Storm. The steering is heavy and thanks to its size, it has oodles of body roll. However, it does ride nice and flat and it does absorb all the bumps without a fuss. Now the clutch on this car isn't the lightest ones around and the travel is fairly long as well. I'm sure I'm looking at a knee replacement surgery if I drive this in peak car day-to-day bumper-to-bumper traffic. The gearbox makes use of all of that 400 Nm of torque really beautifully. For example, you can leave it in third at as low as 20 km an hour and it will accelerate all the way up to 100 km an hour in the same gear. There is a hint of turbo lag under 2000 RPM but post that, the engine delivers all the torque in a smooth surge. There isn't that explosive kick in the back feeling. The power delivery is extremely linear and smooth. And I like it a lot, as you can see by the wide grin on my face. Well, the Safari is a bit of a legend in its own right. However, it does have its share of issues. For starters, it simply needs to be better equipped to take on the competition today. Basic essentials like an MID, reach adjustable steering, automatic climate control are all missing from the Safari. For someone paying the 13.25 lakh rupee price tag, these features do matter a lot. That aside, if you're amongst the one who pick every little excuse to grab the keys and head out on the road to explore, the Safari Storm Varikov 400 can definitely make its own way. Well, that's it about the new Safari Storm. Do let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like always, don't forget to subscribe to the Kadeko YouTube channel for more news and reviews.